Hello everyone, Luke here. I got a comment the other day on one of my videos uh, where I was playing uh, Far Behind by Candlebox and I just learned the song and I was kind of new at the song and didn't really know it too well. Um, but somebody wanted me to make a video, a tutorial video on how to play the song. So I'm going to do that right now. Just a side note, I am not very good at tabs as you know by my other videos I've explained that. I use very basic chords and very basic notes and explanations for them. I'm sure there are better uh, tabs out there than what I can write down, but I will try to explain it and break the song down, at least the uh, better parts of the song, the best I can. So the song is pretty easy. The song is in standard tuning. Uh, it's pretty basic tuning. So I'm going to play the song once over and then I'll break it down after that and show you guys how to play it. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to start off on uh, 10, the 10th fret. You're going to go from the uh, second string down with your index and then second string up from the bottom with your middle. So you're gonna do it twice, one on each. So index, middle, index, middle. So you're gonna do that. And when you do the second one on your, uh, on your middle finger, you're gonna slide up to 12. So it's gonna go like this. So you're gonna hear that, and you're gonna slide it back down to 10 and do once on both of them again. So index, middle. So it's gonna go like this. Again. And then you're gonna hit the open on the top string. And then the next chord you're gonna do is a uh, nine, eight, seven. So it's gonna go like this. You're gonna see your middle finger on the third string from the uh, bottom. Uh, middle on the second string from the bottom and then your index on the very bottom. So it's gonna look like that. So it's gonna go like this You're gonna hear that so it's gonna go like this So you're gonna do the down down up And then you're gonna drop it down to This is seven seven five. So you're gonna drop it down uh, two frets or three frets essentially now you're going to have your middle, you're going to have your index on the very bottom, your pinky on the second string from the, the bottom, and then your ring, or your, uh, yeah, your ring finger on the same fret, uh, just one string up, third from the bottom. I'm going to do a down, down on that. So the next chord you're going to play is going to be a D chord, and you're going to put your ring finger on the second string from the bottom, your middle finger on the bottom string on the second fret and then your index on the third string from the bottom on the second fret so it's gonna sound like this okay and then you're gonna put you're gonna play um, the fourth string from the uh, bottom and then you're gonna go bottom second third so it's gonna sound like this okay it's pretty easy the next chord you're gonna do is going to be uh, essentially a C chord, but before you do that, you're going to do this kind of hammer-on type thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to play open on the second string from the top, index on that uh, same string on the second fret, and then put your ring or your uh, middle finger on the second uh, string from the top, that same string, on the third fret. So it's going to sound like this. Okay, and then you're gonna turn that into what essentially is, is a C chord. But and then essentially you're gonna drop your finger down each note, each string, until you get to the bottom. You're gonna play the bottom two twice and then end on the third string from the bottom. So it's gonna go like this. So okay again. So you're just gonna drop it down. So boom. Boom, 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 boom. So as long as you get that sound pattern right, it's pretty easy. 
All you have to do is know that chord and you just get the timing right. That's essentially the hardest part of this entire part right here. To get that pattern right and you're good. So the chorus is pretty easy. It's essentially G, E, D, C. So G would be just this, pinky, ring, uh, index, and middle, right there. So it's pretty easy. And then the next one would be E, which is pinky, ring, on the string above that, middle, and index. And then D, which would be that other chord they played in the verse, which is middle, ring, index. And the next one would be what's basically the C that you played in the uh, in the verse as well. So the uh, strumming pattern would be like this. So as you can see, I do uh, a few hammer-ons and stuff like that. You can spice it up if you want. Uh, you don't have to uh, do anything specifically like this, but uh, for a majority of the song, you're going to be playing a lot of those chords. Um, so you can, if you want, you can either put the pinky on with the G's or the E's and uh, the C's and stuff like that. So the pinky really doesn't matter. You can either have it on or off. It's just how you want to uh, play it. Um, I believe they have them off most of the time just to get that grungier, deeper tone instead of having that high note in there. you feel so um and then during a uh, majority of the solo just the rhythm guitar would be uh, just G they play this over and over again and then they go back to E and then they just play those two over and over again And uh, so that's a majority of the song. Um, I will try to put the tabs in the description down below if you guys want to check them out. Um, but I hope this could break it down a little bit for you guys. Uh, as I mentioned before, I'm not very good with tabs. I just learn how to play it and uh, just learn it by ear. So uh, give this video a like if you want. Go ahead and subscribe if you want. Uh, let me know if there's any other songs that you want me to try out uh, if this worked for you guys. Um, other than that, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.